It's like you ask me a question and I just answer it, but I should really just keep my mouth shut. Yeah, it would be, it would make a better film. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a stunning thing. As a front door, it's uh, people are going to certainly notice it, aren't they? It's almost like you know what you're doing. Well, you know what? I think it's just coming together. I guess I'm gonna get to it last. Get it down, never going back. Get it down, never going back. Well, that needs to be left alone now. It's a real shame. I mean, you know, the problem is, is what I like to do is cut my locks in to match the height of the keep in the existing door, so I'm not cutting that in as well. So it's a bit of a problem because, you know, otherwise we could do so much more to this door here, i.e. get all these bloody locks chopped in and all that and get the hinges kind of laid out. We're gonna to have to do that on the day. Um, so yeah, what have we got to make? Well, we've got the key escutcheons, which look really quite cool. Um, and what else do we need to do? Well, the, the front of the door, other than the handle, you see, this is the other thing, you see, we're making handles. Are you? Well, yeah, because you can't just put a on <laughs> You can't just put one of those pieces of crap on there, can you? Okay, so how are you doing well, that? Well, this is it, this is the problem. That's where I'm at with that, and I don't really know. Hmm. So we've got another day for filming where you're gonna make handles and you're gonna make that thing across the back. Yeah, but we can probably do the thing across the back. Shit. Okay, let's go into the other workshop and just see. Uh, just, just have a look at what we've got timber-wise. Look how that's come up. Okay, right. So what I'm thinking is that will be... The problem we've got is texture in this. How the f do we do that? So what are we doing? We're going to make a... A hatch. We're going to make a sliding gate for the back, so basically obscure that uh, window. So our aperture is, or the opening, is eight inches, 200 mil. So what have we got? We've got the edge of the door there, right? That measurement there is 760 mil. And in the middle here, we've got a 200 by 200 window. So, what does that mean? 200 off that gives us 560. 560 divided by 2 is 28280, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just working out what size we're going to make this thing. Um, and then we'll get it welded up. I think we've got to come in off the edge of the door. You're going to make the cover bigger than 200 though, aren't you? you know, yeah, it's got, to go, it. it's got to go over it. So if you made it 220. What well, made this for 40? Yeah. Okay. Well should that we go would for sit 45? Within your... Let's go for 45 then. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go this side. Okay, big guy. Hopefully. Well then you're warm. gonna be right in the oh, way. For... Have you got it? Yeah. God, this makes this kind of thing so much easier. Forty-five, yeah. There she blows. Sweet Uncle Alvin on payer. So let's work it out. 
The window is eight inches, so I think what we'll do is we'll go to 10 inches for this. Yeah? Uh, don't you want it to be square like the, you've oversized it to 220, haven't you? Hey. You oversized yeah, it? Yeah, but it's not square. It's not square. No, 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 it's not square. We're not after- Don't listen to me, I haven't got a clue what you're doing anyway. It's like you ask me a question and I just answer it, but I should really just keep my mouth shut. Huh? Yeah, it would be, it would make a better film. Yeah. <laughs> I think people would warm to you more, Mark. Well, if I just shut up. If you just shut up and filmed this. <laughs> oh, all right. So essentially what this is going to be is it's going to be like this, but oh, 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 sweet Uncle Al. What are you doing, sweet Uncle Al? Oh, hey kids. It's your sweet Uncle Al here. Um, I suppose you're going to have to put something on the back of this window covering thing as well, like a little handle as well. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Well, we're, you know. You've got to town on this one, ain't you, buddy? Well, I have, mate. They're, they're a nice couple. It, it is a dirty shed project. We're filming it. I've what? You can't see a thing. It's nice to do a nice job. Right. Ah, oh, I love this thing. It makes all this kind of sh stuff so much easier. This sh stuff? Yeah. What's going on with that? I don't know. Come on. It's because it's cold. I don't like it. Right? You're happy. Sort of. Look at look at that. Look what that will take off. Isn't that just absolutely Show me Bisbo. Here you go. So what are we doing? I don't know. Is it gonna be any good? It might be rubbish. <laughs> okay. Is this a test then? This is what we're making. <laughs> Let's plonka plonka. God, look at those mites. They're so boss. It's unbelievable. So that does that, and then, but we're gonna need to weld more tabs on it. So, uh, and we're also gonna need to texture it. And that's the thing that's giving me the grief because this stuff won't go in the old um, forgerino. So, where are we? We're making a sliding gate like we did on the, I call it a gate. I think that's what they seem to be referred to. So a sliding gate or a sliding, yeah, sliding gate. Oh, for sake. All right, mate, see you then, bye, bye. So we're putting a gate on the back of the door. So this will be like that classic kind of like, you know, what do you call it? The prohibition kind of gate or prison door gate. So what we've got to do is we're making a frame. We're gonna use 25 mil, uh, 25 mil angle, this stuff's like three mil wide. But our problem is, of course, we want this to match. This has got to have the same texture as the rest of the ironwork on the door. Problem is, for an eight inch slider here to cover the window, it's got to be able to slide back eight inches. So that means this piece has to be at least 16 inches long. We've made it a touch over actually, 45 centimeters we've gone to. But we've got to get a texture on here and preferably on here. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kind of pop, pop this in and then pop these in. So we're going to have to kind of do one side and then turn everything around and do the other side. We're going to have to do it off the edge here so that we don't deform the metal. It's like anything, you know, when you're 
when you're creating something like this, you know, every part of that door is custom made. We could go out there, we could try and source kind of ironworks, we could try and source butterflies, we could try and do all this stuff, but it would just be hideously expensive, so we have to make it all from scratch. But then you're held hostage by that because you can't just then use a piece of metal like that on the back because it'll look completely wrong. It's got to be textured, so you have to go through the texturing, the fabrication. You know, we use the copper rivets to fit most. This will get, you know, we'll put the little tabs on exactly like the grill. It's going to look, it is going to look really good when it's done, but all of these things cause us problems. So, and they take time. And they take time, yeah. So we've already gone a little bit over on this project, but you know, uh, I think the client's going to be really happy with it. And of course, you know, the other thing is, and this is, let's not ever forget this, it's, you know, it's your own pride. You can't, you know, you do this and cut corners and you make a mess, then, you know, what's the bloody point? There isn't one, I don't think. You know, if, you, if you're going to do that, or if that's your approach to doing this kind of thing, well, stop doing it. But just stay out of my way. I'm Al Watson. I'm the crumpet man stinker. I was waiting for the whiz. I'm a dead to know him, but the one who told my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, euro. Peso. Ah, good. Good for the egg. Okay. Let's try with this. So, what we'll do is we'll do this. Everything is on me, go and back it up. Well, sorry, mate. Wait. Told you I'm gonna do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck. Country heart, I'm a cop of farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. Just got that bit of texture on it. I think it needs more. Doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, your roll, peso, peso, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Losing all that fing heat. Tongs than that. Bloody red hot. <laughs> you enjoying yourself? Are you? Huh? No. I barely had any McDonald's today. <laughs> Shit, 
the sound needed renovation. around we're just going to get those welded up oh look at that practically bang on nice and gently straighty straighty bang bang well, that's just getting worse shit that might need to go back in and get straightened up Poo-poo. Okay, it's the same format. Just pile. Uh, give ourselves a chamfer that we're going to fill. I'm just manipulating all something in the forge arena. That's got it. I think that's better. Ready? Yeah. Welding. Tell me when. Yeah. Welding. So that is our that is the frame for our gate. So let's do what we've ooh, yeah let's do what we've got to always do and uh, grindy grindy bang bang. You clean up, I'm out of here. So you're happy with yourself, huh? Yeah, done. So uh, that was an hour exactly. Really, bang on an hour. Well, it just goes to show you, doesn't it? You know, you know, <laughs> yeah. I've got skills. Just goes to show you what you what can you do. What do you do about it? It shows you what you can do about it. Do it, do it in an hour. Do it in an hour. That's all I'm gonna do, and texturing. Oh, so, and now a little bit of blackie. Same thing. Now where did I put my... You're a bit of a brush thief, aren't you? Have you started what? it? Say what? Wasn't it in that, your little pouchy thing that you had? I don't think I did. No, it's just lying around in the filth somewhere. Yeah, there, it's it? just in the filth somewhere. The thing about this workshop is there's filth on top of filth. And then actually the, the original filth is on top of some other filth. 
So it's just basically filth everywhere. You can see how much water the, uh, the steel disperses. You know when you heat it like that, basically you see when it kind of condenses and you can see the uh, what do you call it? You can see um, all the water that's condensed right into the grain of the steel kind of evaporate off. I was watching someone on YouTube and he uh, he was saying that like before you paint steel you should run a torch over it. And that's blacking up nicely isn't it? Yeah. And just down there a touch, yeah. Let's just apply again over that. Our video on blacking it is like one of the... I thought that was going to be quite a good video, but no one seems to give a shit about it, do they? <laughs> <laughs> most of our videos actually this door all bright and shiny and polished and kind of it, it's just not what we're after is it at all what happened there well, that's all the crystals in whatever this stuff is. Obviously recrystallizing in the heat as the, whatever the solution is, whoa, um, kind of evaporates off, isn't it? I'm just trying to, now that, that's more like it, isn't it? That's actually going black, isn't it? Whoa. This is how I rust finish. It seems like... So there indeed, sir. It's like a shitty TV. <laughs> So yeah, essentially what this is going to have is a little piece of plywood, <laughs> which essentially, bang, close, open, close, open. It's not going to be plywood though, is no, it? No, it's going to be I was only joking. And I was you're going to finish the oak in the same way as the door? Exactly the same way. We'll have a one of our handmade rivets probably here to kind of slide it. I think we'll have a handmade rivet. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, With a big... Dirty Shed Creations Dirty on the Shed creations top of it. on the head. But actually looking at, taking a step back now, it, it works, doesn't it? It's the same kind of finish. It's boss. Yeah. So, I mean, what we really should do is we should neutralise this finish now by dunking this in water. That's the, that's the kind of bulk of the hard work done with that. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to have two tabs here. I think we're going to have to have one, two, three, four, and then two tabs there. So I'll do eight, three. Three? One, two, three. Okay, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten tabs, exactly the same way. Because um, we've got to obviously attach this to the door somehow. I think that's enough. What we're going to do, because it's a Friday, we're going to get ourselves down the Marquis de Granby and enjoy a couple Which of Which is pints. a gym, isn't it? Oh, it's a gym, yeah. yeah. It's not There's a, a lot of heavy lifting. A lot with of these hands, uh, lager like lift. That. Oh, yeah. One, oh, two, oh, three. Woo! <laughs> Happy <laughs> weekend, bye -bye. everyone. <laughs> bye. <laughs>I think there'll be a better payer than Sweet Uncle Al. <laughs> Everyone's a better payer than Sweet Uncle Al. <laughs> yeah, Sweet Uncle Al, that is Sweet Uncle Al though, Mark. Yeah. Oh, now I haven't got... The non-paying Sweet Uncle Al. Okay, cutting.